All right. Simply turn your system control to automatic. And you see now we have 91 pounds yep. to the header here, to the isolation okay. valve. Yep. And your control point, set point is 125. So as soon as we turn this one on, it goes into a fill mode. It recognizes that there's only the one pump on, and I'm going to fill the system now. Okay. So what will happen, I'll turn this on. Your control is going to drop to 91. Okay. So that's the pressure we're controlling it at now, and it's going to ramp up slowly until it gets to 125, because we're against a closed valve, and then it'll shut off. Yeah. Right? So we'll simply turn that on. Drop back, we got to 92, and then it starts. And we'll ramp it up about 1 PSI every 4 seconds or so, nice and slow, not real fast. So I'll show you what it's like against a closed valve. And then we'll go from there, we'll open the valve a bit, and you can see how it acts. So now it's going to do its thing until we get to 125. And it's going to see no flow. It recognizes that there isn't any water going anywhere. And then it's going to go into a shutdown sequence. Same thing, but this is Basically, just, this yeah. just automatic though. Yes, you okay. simply have one switch okay. where before you had the three. Three, right? Okay, so this is just sim yeah, more simple. simple. You simply yeah. have one, okay. yeah, one system control switch for all the four switches. Okay, perfect. Rather okay. than individual on each one. Right, right. okay, yeah. So you see how that acted there? So that's that's like the whole golf course was full. Yeah. Right? So now we're still in fill mode. I'll crack this valve a bit and you'll see the pressure drop. The pump will start and it'll ramp up slowly. This will change again to whatever we end up with as far as pressure when I open the valve. It's going to drop a bit. Can we close the valve after? Oh, certainly. Okay. Yeah, we're just let a bit of water go yeah. so you see yeah. how it acts. Yeah. This valve is always a bitch to get open to. Oh, yeah. Pressure on the one side. Man, it's a bitch to close, dude. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, son of a. So we pretty much lost it all, right? All the circuit. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, you couldn't open it a little. It just, yeah. Yeah. Because you're dealing with such a short piece of pipe, right? There's not a lot of water there. Come from four. I was on Halifax. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Old, very old system for sure. Is it a plant station? Do you know? I'm not sure. No, I would have. Yeah. <coughs> It'll see some flow there once the pressure gets high enough. How long roughly will it take the main line to fill up? That depends on how much pipe is out there. There's no real rule of thumb to say, right? Yeah, some places would have twice as much pipe as anybody else, right? Another place, so. Probably a couple hours, probably. Or <coughs> oh, at least I would think a couple hours. <coughs> You'd be able to check. If you wanted to hear. When you do get your lines full, yeah. you'd be able to see it there. I can reset that number. I think I already have it written down. Yeah, it is. So yeah, when you do have your lines full, I'll show you how to get there. Go to 
station tool output, yep. F6, and that'll show you what you pump okay. to fill your line. So it could be 60,000, 70,000, let's say right. Yes, once you get off the pressure, it will control it at 185 or 145, and then see what you have for pressure flow. So we got about 90 gallons a minute. Now you can crack it a little more. Doesn't take much. Now we're up to 250. 250. Yeah, like I say, you basically you want around 150, 170 gallons a minute. Even 180 is fine, right? That's what you want to, when you're filling. When you're filling, you want to keep it. All right. Yeah, nice and slow, so you're not hammering water in oh, there. Oh, right? okay, yeah, yeah. That's... Even 150 is fine, you know, the less you have, the longer it takes. Uh, Better to be a little patient. Yeah. Too much of a hurry. So that's how it acts. Now we'll close that and we'll go through the shutdown sequence again. And then when that stops going, you're like, when the pump stops ringing, you're going to be on the top. So it's like when you come in with a good season, you know, you come to the top of the sea, it's going to be weird. You must have had a clay valve on your system before. I'm not a pressure either. regulating valve. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, now it's doing its little shut down sequence. It doesn't see any flow. Drops the RPMs, and then it shuts off. Okay. And at that point, simply turn the rest of them on, on and then you're ready for full irrigation. But you leave the other two off until you've filled the system. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because with this one on only, it recognizes it's in a fill mode. Okay. So then it does its thing, right? So after you have a break or something, it's probably good to do that too. Is it? Or it depends if you on how much pressure you, you have, have out there left, right? How much water still, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, rather than turning it on to full irrigation mode, then it tries to go to 125 as fast as it can. If you have the PM pump on, it recognizes irrigation and let's get the water out there, right? Because the pressure drops and it's got to get to 125 again as quick as it can. Yeah. Rather so the, than do it slowly when it's fill mode. The PM pump being off is a signal? Yes, correct. Okay. Correct. So just having the one pump on, number one pump. Or could it be any of those three yes. pumps? Yes. As long as this one? Yes, all pumps. Right. doesn't matter yeah. which one. As long They're as they the same. have the okay. PM pump off when you're trying to refill the system. Correct. You'd almost think you just have the PM pump on, but... That's a little slow. Like a little slow, 30 yeah. gallons a minute, yeah. right? 27, 30 gallons a minute. Yeah, so. yeah that's, well, that's what we did last week. PM pump first, then once it reached its capacity, flip the first vertical one on. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that what, do it that way. different, just yeah. different way. Right. Different ways of doing it, different yeah, systems, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Different yeah. control panels type of yeah. thing. Yeah, these things think for themselves, where yours probably... It was all, flip. you had to flick it to auto and whatnot right. once you reached capacity. Right. Yeah, all right. This, this is yeah. much simpler. So yeah, it's pretty basic. Yeah. Your low pressure should always be inactive. Okay. This should always be in VFD. The only reason you would ever use bypass is if something happened to your drive and we had to take it out for repair. It can be set up to run without a drive, but it's 
it's not recommended really. Okay. But in an emergency, we could do it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, any questions or not sure about? No, that was it. Okay. System control or any of this stuff? That's simply for manual operation. That's more or less for testing, diagnostic purposes. That's something you guys would never use. Okay. Because you have no control of pressure. Okay. If we turn this on, turn one of these pumps on. That simply ramps it up. So if you didn't have a closed valve, all that pressure goes to the golf course. Right? Now it's dumping out the pressure release valve. That's all there. It's coming back. Yeah, so you don't really want to use the manual operation. Yeah, yeah. not suggested. No, not suggested. That's more or less for testing with, okay. and setting up and such. <laughs> okay, awesome.